YouTube, hey Harry from Everything TCG here. Look, I'm gonna be really, really honest with you. I tried to do a video last night, got through the entire video, um, and it just the sound wasn't right. Um, nothing was right. I wasn't happy with it, and I'm not. I'd, as as excited as I am about content, I'm I'm not gonna upload content that I'm not super happy with. Um, I just I didn't really know what to talk about and, and I mean that sounds strange for me being in sales but I was just yeah I, I couldn't do it so let's try again take two um, this is a completely new box this is f some of the pulls from the box that I did the video for that being a highlight um, I can't even talk value right now in regards to these cards um, but look I absolutely love for a moment just not even thinking about value I'm I am opening these Digimon products because right now I adore the idea that my love for tabletop play is is back inside a box you will find a promo pack um, and then you will also get an alternate Full art. We got some sleeves there. Um, pull rate in these sets seem pretty dead. Oh, we got tie. Very cool. Um, pull rate in these in these sets seem really really cool. Um, I've kept these guys in the pack so far. We have three cards so far. I believe out of a possible six and a two pack promo there. So one. So there's two cards and they can be either raw so you'll either get Garurumon and Wargurumon, Agumon Greymon and Vidramon Zero and Tai Kamiya. Uh, we're gonna open this one straight away. Um, I really hope we can pull the Garurumon. We haven't actually got him yet so that would complete the promo set um, and you know that would just be really really nice. So we've got Vidramon and Tai, which we got out of the box that I did last video that w you will never see. You will never see. <laughs> so, what is Digimon TCG? Um, brand damn new, man. It's so new, um, but I've been playing it a little bit, playing it with my homies, playing it with my brother. Really fast, really fun. Um, you can actually breeze through a good, you know, probably best of five in, in half an hour. Um, we took it a little bit slower um, and just sort of enjoyed the moment. Let me just try and move this tripod. The camera has been giving me grief. In every pack you get six, I think maybe seven commons. Seven commons, three uncommons, and then a rare a potential super rare or a potential secret rare so pretty damn cool into our first rare all rare cards come with this beautiful gold border on them um, really nice really really nice so I don't actually think you can get um, you know foils of cards that weren't meant to be you know what I mean like I guess in magic you can pull a foil common or you could pull a foil any card if that makes sense um, I'll try and keep the piles a little bit neat. They will grow. Common there. I've also been opening a fair bit of product um, just with my brothers because we've, I guess, unveiled Digimon together. We're learning this together. Um, ooh, okay. So that's a super rare, everyone. Full art, nice foil to it. Um, that's a sleever. That's that's what we sleeve. So, um, second pack, just straight into the heat. Maybe commons can move out of the frame and rares can be in the frame. That might be an idea I have. Very very cool. There, metal Garurumon. Um, each of the packs also come with like a little promo. They're like your your counters. Um, they go upside down. That's sort of how the memory thing works when you're playing, and then the card 
list so you can collect. Right now, I don't know if this will be a forever thing, but if you buy a booster box, you get a dash pack. Um, we can open that today too, I guess. Or maybe I can do that over on Instagram if you guys follow me over on Instagram. Um, that could be fun too. But the artwork... Oh, this is a mistake. Alright, these can come over here to my right hand side. Common there. Numemon. I don't even know how to pronounce half these names. Um, option cards. Super cool. Like, you know, basically spells. Um, but they seem really really good there's nothing that I've seen yet that allows you to play something on the opponent's turn like there's no flash or something like that however the security effect um, well this one doesn't have a security effect so I don't know if that's like a misprint or um, I might have to research that that's kind of nifty though oh wow so that's just a full art rare that's a it's a full art rare. So he's not foil. He's got a little bit of gold around the border. When one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended. So when they attack, you gain memory. I mean, that seems busted. Purple seems busted. Um, the starter decks that I've got, red, yellow, and blue. And so far, man, the game is fun. It's so quick. It's so fun. Um, there is a little mobile app. You can play the tutorial to get your sort of head around the game. Ah, dude. Uncommon here. Looking back on the good times, Petermon, Infermon Rare. Wow another super like the pull rate man like I just it feels good this this these cards look sick the foils on them are sick when you pull a beefy dude like that like a 12 cost if you don't digivolve him he only costs three if you digivolve um, seems to be pretty standard for like a, a big strong guy um, 10,000 DP I think effects will certainly serve a purpose like the more we understand and learn about the game um, certain effects are going to be utilized a hell of a lot more I know that in the blue deck one of the mechanics in it is they tear cards because when you digivolve something so you put a level four on top of a level three um, you basically um, build them up so they have inherited abilities and from those inherited abilities, that Digimon at the top gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Did I just put the uncommons in? I just... Alright, I'll uh, do that after the video. My bad. Um, Matt Ishida. Um, where was I? Yeah, blue just chews away Digivolutions from the bottom. Like, you just have nothing. No inherited abilities because you just don't have a chance. Um once the Digimon start attacking, it, it becomes very, very difficult um, to keep up because you've got nothing to Digivolve. I've also got to learn a couple of the rules. I don't know if like the hatchlings or the Digi eggs go back to the hatching area once they get destroyed or um, I'm not too sure about a couple of rules yet. Rules seem to be a little bit difficult to find. Cupimon and Giga Blaster Rare there. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lot to learn, but in the same vein as that, it's exciting to learn. Uh, I believe it's, it's, it's just exciting to know that, I guess everyone, unless you've been playing Digimon Japanese, however you think it should be played, or just based on what you've seen, um, Birdramon, Darkness, Claw, Izzy. Oh wow, Rosemon, that is a pretty card there with a super rare. Um, I think we've seen Rosemon a couple of times now. There must be more common super rares than others. Um, but the art themselves, 
just gorgeous. We might do half a box per video. Um, I guess because I don't want to burn out, um, and I, I did it again, I don't want to keep you guys waiting, you know, those little injections, just a little sneaky digi injection. Um, I'll label them part one and part two so you can sort of see what you get in a full box. Um, because I think in a full box, you, I mean, we just pulled one. Of, no, so here's something really cool to note, right? In the decks, you've got colors, and I believe auction cards cannot be played unless you have a Digimon of that color. So if the option color is yellow, you need a yellow Digimon, or you need a yellow Tamer card to be able to play that option. Uh, here we have Matt Ishida as a purple, and we also have him as a blue that I just dropped. So his ability being, if you have two memory or less, set your memory to three, pretty nice. Return one purple Digimon card or purple option card from your trash, pretty good. Uh, and this one here is, you can suspend this tamer to trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponents. Wow. So you, when you play a blue Digimon, so yeah, they all sort of feed off the color. Um, so that's, that's I guess, the most common thing you'll find with its connection to magic is the colors. Uh, outside of that, it's very, very unique to its own game, uh, which is super exciting. That's a common, guys. Like, the artwork on that itself is just so beautiful. The uncommons seem to be pretty powerful, seem to be a pretty good cost, pretty good level. A uh, Iko Kukmon, uh, this Digimon can't be blocked by your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards. So that's that's really good. That Again, the blue mechanic there, you're just chewing away uh, from the bottom. Wow, super rare. So he's not like a full art or anything, but he's a full-faced foil. Um, silver border, very nice. Just sneaking up on you there. So what's that four in half a box? We have three packs left in part one. I guess the downside to part one and part two is one part might just be a thousand times better than the other, right? Uh, with that being said, these products are just damn right gorgeous. And if you are lucky enough to get your hands on them, um, source them out, absolutely. I, I think this is hopefully the future of TCG, Tyranimon, and a Terra's Cluster. I don't know if I've seen that yet. Might be really good for collecting. Looking to complete the entire set. Um, I would love to have the original Digimon card game set. That would just be really, really nice to have. I wonder if Banks would be interested in me if I did. That's a joke. Kapurimon. Vilemon. Uncommons now. Greymon. Looking back on the good times, rare, oh wow, and a super rare millennium on, like that, five and one half, this is a box to remember, we do have um, a dash pack to open up after this last pack here on side one, uh, the reason why I'm not going to open up the whole box in this one video is because it'll probably be a 25 minute video. Um, and we live in a very disposable world where probably this video itself is too long. So, we'll breeze through this one here. Common, Garurumon, Devadramon, Miotismon, Birdramon, Tanamon, and a Mistymon. I have not seen you yet. Two of your opponent's Digimon get 3000 DP for the turn. That's really strong, especially if you're targeting um, your opponent's deck with, with blockers. Um, I think that is probably, yeah, if, if you have, if you're versing someone with a blocker deck, that could be really, really good. Just, I think you either have to block with block or not. Wow. 
Metal Seedramon in the dash pack. That is gorgeous. Nifty card there. On play, return up to two of your opponents. Level 4 or lower Digimon to their hand. Trash all of the Digivolution cards of those Digimon. Okay, so they can't be above. Alright, this Digimon can't be blocked by your opponent's Digimon with no Digi cards. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful card. Guys, everything TCG, Digimon. I think this is the future of this channel, um, at least for a little bit. Huge update coming soon. I just want to chat to you. Um, just, you know, stay in touch and, and things like that. Let you know that I'm still here. Um, a lot of moving pieces right now in my life and it's been difficult to keep up with twitch youtube everything else um i've been pretty heavy i did a live stream on friday last week for vivid voltage um so make sure you go and check everything tcg out on facebook um if you need any business inquiries or are looking to obtain any sort of product that you see pulled from these videos email me at every ttcg at gmail.com other than that you'll find me on instagram under everything tcg you'll find me over on twitch tv under everything tcg um i hope you guys have a wonderful day sending good vibes out digimon is i think the new and improved the this is what i'm so excited for um let's get it have a great day guys see you later bye